Hello guys today we will discuss about NDTCO ordinator interview for a Ramco job. Topic is Magnetic particle examination Liquid penetrant examination Ultrasonic thickness test please Subscribe for more videos Magnetic particle examination SAEP 1144 Magnetic particle test technique. A. Prod technique. B. Yoke technique. C. Direct contact. Method. Yoke technique. There are two types of yokes technique A. AC yoke. B. DC yoke. AC yoke. Technique. AC yoke method should be used for surface discontinuities. AC yokes shall be tested. Prior to use each day with minimum 4.5 kilograms, 10 pounds. Lifting capacity. DC yoke technique. DC yoke method should be used for subsurface discontinuities. DC yokes shall. Be tested prior to use each day with a minimum 18 kilograms, 40 pounds. Lifting capacity. Yoke leg space. The yoke leg space shall be between 3 to 8 inches. Minimum 10% overlap required at adjacent. Examination area. MPT examination illumination. MT exams performed in the field or shop requires. A minimum of 1000 lux of white light illumination at the examination surface for adequate evaluation of indications. Surface preparation. All surfaces to be examined and dry adjacent area within 1 inch inch of the examination area shall be free from rust, scale, slag, sand, grease and paint etc. Surface. Temperature. A. Surface temperatures shall not exceed 3160C when using dry particles. B. Surface. Temperatures shall not exceed 500C when using wet particles. Clean the examination surface in adjacent area within 3 inches inches of the examination area. Sensitivity verification. Pi gauge R. Burma castrol strip may be used to verify adequate magnetization of part. Post-examination cleaning. The part being examined shall be cleaned to remove all residual magnetic particle materials. Demagnetization. Demagnetization shall always be performed on parts which are to be welded after an MT examination has been performed to prevent arc blow. The presence or absence of residual magnetism shall be verified and demonstrated using a calibrated Gauss meter. Residual magnetism shall not exceed 2 Gauss. Prod technique. The prod technique should not be used on highly polished or machined surface due to the possibility of arc damage to the surface. Direction of magnetization. For welds on flat surfaces, the yoke shall be placed across the weld at an angle of 300 to 450 from the long axis of the weld. The second examination shall be perpendicular to the first examination forming an X pattern. For examining circumferential pipe and fillet welds, the yoke shall be initially positioned so the legs straddle the weld in. Applied field is perpendicular to the long axis of the weld. For second examination the yoke leg shall be positioned parallel to the long axis of the weld. Liquid penetrant examination. SAEP 1145. Penetrant system classification. 1. Fluorescent penetrant inspection A. Water washable. B. 
solvent removable. 2. Color contrast, visible, penetrant inspection A, water washable B, solvent removable. Solvent removable color contrast, visible dye penetrant examination. Dwell time. A. Cleaner. 5 minute allow to dry before to proceeding with the test B. Penetrant. 10 minute C. Developer. 7 minute standard Saudi Aramco developer is non aqueous as an aerosol can spray at 10 inches to 12 inches from the surface. From 250 to 300 millimeters. Inspection lighting. White lighting minimum 1000 lux. Post cleaning. Wipe surface clean with dry cloth. Post cleaning shall be performed on all components that have been PT. Tested. Interpretation. Final interpretation shall be made within 10 to 30 minutes of applying. The developer. Safety. 540. Penetrant materials shall not be heated above 540 C or exposed to open flames. Surface preparation. Welds or area to be examined in 1 inch, 25.4 mm, on either side of the weld. Or area, shall be dry and free from all dirt, grease, scale, welding spatter, welding flux, paint, oil and any other foreign material. Developers should be applied, smoothly, lightly, if it is necessary to remove developer which was determined to be excessive, the test shall be restarted at the pre-cleaning step. Distortion. Distortion occur by welding due to a highly localized Heating of joint edges B, non-uniform stresses in the component because expansion and contraction of heated material. Ultrasonic thickness test, UT, SAEP 1146. Instruments. The UT instrument shall have an A-scan display to assist the operator in discrimination of test results. Only portable hand-held ultrasonic thickness instruments from the Saudi Aramco approved equipment list are acceptable. Transducers. Transducers shall be within the manufacturer's operating specifications for the instrument being used. When selecting a transducers. Consideration shall be given to the surface temperature, expected thickness of the specimen and the resolution required. Transducers may contain single or dual elements. Digital thickness meters with a scan presentation shall use only manufacturers provided transducers. Calibration blocks shall have a sound velocity within 5% of the material to be tested. Use of SAMS 4340 material is acceptable for most carbon and stainless steel application. When absolute precision is required calibration shall be performed on blocks made of the same material being tested or on known thickness values of the specimen. Cuplant. Cuplant selection shall be Depending on chemical compatibility with the surface and the temperature of the specimen. Calibration. The proper functioning of the examination system shall be checked in the equipment. Shall be calibrated by the use of the calibration standard 1, at the beginning and end of each shift. 2. Every 4 hours during examinations. 3. When examination personnel are changed. 4. Any equipment is changed. 5. At any time that malfunctioning is suspected. Calibration blocks shall be at ambient temperature during calibration. Calibration shall not be cooled or heated for cryogenic or high temperature applications. 
Low viscosity couplants such as Ultragel 2 shall be used for calibration. Apply couplant to the step wedge or calibration blocks and apply firm steady. Pressure the transduce during calibration. All calibration values shall be within 0.05 mm of the known thickness value. Examination. Surface preparation The test area shall be free of corrosion, insulation, weld, spatter, surface irregularities or foreign matter that might interfere with the examination. Where coatings interfere with the examination, the coating shall be removed in recorded. Measurement examination shall be conducted from the OD surface or ID surface, as applicable. It is necessary that the examiner take into consideration the surface temperature of the component. If the surface temperature is below OOC and above 1010C, the surface temperature shall be measured and recorded. Apply couplant to the probe or surface of the specimen. For high temperature, Measurements. Couplant should always be applied to the face of the probe, not the hot part. All digital readings shall be verified by viewing the A scan presentation on the instrument thickness. Readings shall be measured and recorded to three decimal places when working in inches. Thickness. Readings shall be measured and recorded to two decimal places when working in millimeters. The transducer face shall be cleaned before each measurement at temperature greater than 4000 F as evaporated couplant can leave deposits on the transducer face. The transducer shall not be held against hot surfaces for long time. It shall be held for few seconds to establish steady reading and then removed immediately. Use the touch test to monitor the transducer temperature. If the transducer face is too hot to be held against your skin then it shall be cooled in air or water prior to taking readings. High viscosity couplants are not acceptable for calibration but are usually required for high temperature measurements. Post-cleaning. All water-based couplant shall be completely removed from the specimen i.e. wiped with a dry absorbent cloth or towel fresh water wash etc.